Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. When you saw the team of the week, you probably thought, well, he's going to use Ito, and yes, I'm definitely using him. Full star, full star, his third in form already. Looks to be an amazing card. I don't think he will get a team of the season, so this is probably the best card he will get. Of course, I'm using Kagawa on his shirt now, so I'll definitely use him. On the bench, I have Ito from Centreda, who no longer plays there. Hara. And of course, Divo Karigi to make some magic happen when I need to. This retro team, that the Naira card looks also very, very good. But let's play some foot jams. First opponent uses this team. Not a lot of French players, but he does use Ben Yedder, which is always a bad sign. Ito finds Kagawa. Good dribbling, holds up the play a bit. I try a shot, but I get taken out, so I get a free kick. Which I'm going to take with Kagawa. I wasn't sure who has the best uh, free kick stats, but apparently no one really has good stats. So Shinji it is. Great free kick, hits the crossbar, so very close to a first goal. He makes a mistake, Mitoma is there and he chips it in. So 1-0 up, big mistake from Aaron Ramsdale, but good for me, so we're 1-0 up. Keep on going, Mitoma again, who was really a, a very good player in this team. Great dribbling gives the ball to Morioka and he makes it 2-0. So two Japanese boys already making a goal. Very good stuff. He gets a goal back with Lozano. Gets a bit lucky that he gets the ball back. But a, a good goal. Kutra probably should have saved that. But uh, okay. Second half. Opponent tries to counter attack. But uh, Jason Denier is there to take it away. Great pass to Chukwese. He thinks I'm going to pass the ball. I'm not. 3-1, we're going to win this game. Then I tried uh, to score some goals with uh, Ito. This ball with Ozil, I don't even know how it hits the crossbar. Uh, pretty random. Then Ito on the counter-attack, gives the ball to Kagawa. He thinks I'm going to pass to Ito, but uh, Mitoma is just way more logic, logical. And uh, he saves it. Ball can never fly in like that. Ozil gives the ball to Kagawa. Bit of dribbling. Find the free Ito can turn who shoots. I thought this ball was flying in, but it didn't. Still, like the second half was completely dominated by me. Kagawa finds Ito. I try a chip. I don't know why because Ramsdale wasn't uh, in front of his goal by that much. We win the game 3-1. Ito didn't do anything, but he was uh, very involved in the game. So that's always a, a nice thing to see. Uh, the rest of the Japanese players were uh, very, very good, like uh, I'm used to. Let's play the second game. Second game is against this opponent, but before we play the second game, I'm gonna play a game with you how to spot a toxic FIFA 22 player. First, uses a lot of French players. This guy has definitely a lot of French players. Has a player with 69 as a number. Guess what? Yes, of course, it's Benyetta with 69. Passes the ball around at the back. Yes, my opponent did that, like, even at the start of the game. 69, Ben Yedder goes through on goal. Takes the ball away from Denier. Courtois doesn't save it. And then he already started passing the ball around at the back. Ito, good chance, but every time he was doing this. Like, it's the first half of the game. You're leading 1-0. What are you doing? You can't say to me that anyone enjoys playing like this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why people do it? Well, I know why they do it, to get me mad, but that doesn't really work. I just get a bit annoyed. Neymar makes a goal, that flashback Neymar is a card that everyone seems to use too. But we're not down and out. Morioka, great long distance shot. Assist from Ito, but that's really an easy assist to give, just giving the ball away. Kawak gives the ball to Ozil. I already subbed on all my super subs, I went ultra attacking. Uzel can't score, but Shinji Kagawa is there to make it 2-2. And I was feeling really good, and I went uh, to play normal again, not uh, attacking, and then he immediately scored a goal with Ben Yedder again. So uh, that's not great. Uh, I went ultra attacking again, as you can see by the stamina of most of my players. They're, they're completely dead. He wasn't attacking me anymore, like not aggressively enough. And that's just an invitation for Uzel to score. But we're not done yet. Dying seconds of the game. We're already in stoppage time. Ito gets the ball out on the flank. Waits a bit. Waits a bit. Crosses the ball in. And it's Divo Karigi. Yes! Divo 
Divock Origi at the death for Liverpool. So you know when you have Divock Origi, you know this these things can happen. He's an amazing player. Like he doesn't play that much anymore, but he's very very clutch. So uh, <laughs> good thing to have on FIFA. That was the last chance of this game. I think my opponent was uh, very mad. I was expecting a message here. I didn't receive one, which I find hard <laughs> because this guy was playing like the, the worst kind of FIFA players that you could possibly imagine. Ito got two assists in this game and uh, I know what you're thinking. He's 86 rated. He should have done more than give, just give two assists. He has a bit of a problem finishing. He's not very good at finesse shots, so you need to take normal shots with him. As you can see, I was dominating the game. But I still think he's he's a very fun player, very fun to use. And of course, he plays in the Pro League. And if you play in the Pro League, you can do nothing wrong for me. Uh, I, I will like you. I will use your card on FIFA. So uh, that's very, very nice. That's going to be all for this episode of Unsung Hero. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. And of course, just after, uh, just when I was making this video, EA releases this card. A flashback Kevin De Bruyne from his time at Genk. I will definitely use this card. See you guys next time.